Hello, hello, how is it going today? So, I am going to be showcasing how you can get a good voice effect using FL Studio's trial version. Uh, I did make a video in the past, a couple months ago, showcasing how to get a very loud and somewhat trolly funny mic, let's say. Um, that video, well, I'm sure not many of you know about it because I didn't really get any views on it, but on this one, I'm going to be showcasing how you can get a radio sort of effect using FL Studio. Now, this one's a lot more simpler than that one was, but it is pretty much more of the same. So, to get started, what we're going to want to do is go to the official ImageLine website to download FL Studio's trial version. Now, you'll be able to hit this Try for Free button. It'll bring you to the Windows download or Mac OS download. For the Windows download, which is what I'm going to be using, I use Windows 11. You're just going to hit this Download button right here. It's going to take you to this thing. You're going to do this installer, go through it, and afterwards, you should be good to go. You should be able to just go ahead it. and okay, open it. I want that guy. We're just going to type FL Studio onto our computer. Now, I already have it open here, uh, but but the baseline is you're going to have to just make sure it opens up, make sure everything works, and if it doesn't work, restart your computer or try to reinstall it. Now, with all that out of the way, it might take like five minutes to download. Um, after you download FL Studio, you're going to want to download VB Audio Cable. Now, we're going to be getting a VB Audio Virtual Cable. Now, this is how we will be able to transfer our mic uh, from FL Studio to the game we're playing or to any sort of Discord you're using. Uh, it can it can work for pretty much any purpose. Uh, it's very, very versatile, and the best part is it's free. So we're going to hit this Download button under Windows Driver Pack. Download that. Go through the installation yet again. This time, what you're going to want to do, though, is make sure... And I, I mean this, make sure you restart your computer after you're done downloading it, because if you do not, you will have issues. Trust me. So, we got VB Audio Cable, we got FL Studio. If it opens up, it won't look like mine, because mine is a little more, well, let's just say, used. So, after we got this, it's all open, it's all good. Uh, we're going to go to our Mixer tab right here. Now, I'm just going to show you this exists. Uh, I got it set up in Master, everything we need. But uh, I'm just showing you this is what we're going to need for the majority of what we're doing here. Um, we're also going to go to this Options tab real quick. Go to the Audio Settings tab. Buffer Length, all ICO panel right here. And we're going to have our input and output variables here. Now, your input is going to be whatever microphone you want to use in order to get the, the input, right? It's, it's, it's what is going through for it to come out. So in this case, I'm using my NVIDIA broadcast microphone. I could just use my base microphone right here, but I am choosing to use NVIDIA broadcast because it is a little clear. Uh, if you aren't aware, NVIDIA broadcast is more so for uh, AI powered noise cancellation. But uh, past all that, all we're going to need to do is just choose your base microphone. Uh, in this case, I will be using NVIDIA broadcast. Don't worry about this buffer length or helper instructions. All you need to do is set that. Now afterwards, you are going to want to go to your output, set it to the cable input. Now the cable input is going to be using what we just downloaded, the VB Audio cable. So we're going to use cable input and then we're going to be done. Now what you will notice immediately is once we get into our mixer yet again, which is just by clicking this little mixer tab up the top, we are going to have this. It might look a little bit different, but don't worry about that. You're going to choose one of these tracks or you can just choose the master tab like I did. I'm a bit of a lazy bastard. Uh, we're going to choose one of these tabs and we're going to put it in one. Now we're going to select this little none panel. This is how we insert our microphone uh, in two would be for me using my guitar. Uh, it, it uses in one and in two would be using my microphone and my guitar. Uh, if you get what that means. So we're going to choose in one here. Um, you're going to notice right here it's going to start picking up audio. Now, if it doesn't show this, then make sure that you have restarted your computer after installing VB Audio, or make sure you have the correct uh, output and input selected, otherwise it is not picking up any audio. Now, you won't be able to hear it, of course, because VB Audio Cable, as a baseline, uh, has its audio uh, tracking turned off, so you can hear how it sounds if you want to. I'm just going to turn these off real quick, for example. Um, if we just go to our cable output, properties, listen, listen to this, this device, device, and that, that is, is done by going to search, sound, control, panel. It's, it's under control panel, change system sound. So if you want to go to the control panel, 
and then you'll just see um, where is that going to be? System sound, system sounds. Uh, oh, hardware and sound right there. Sound, yeah. So it's going to bring up this tab. You're going to go under recording, find VB cable output, and bam, listen. Listen to this device. device. Blah, 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 blah. So it'll also show the default playback device, uh, where it's going to play back to, where you're going to hear it from. Make sure it is, you know, your default is obviously your headphones, right? If it's not, then, well... I don't know what to tell you. So make sure it's all right. Uh, but yeah, that's how you're going to be able to track how it sounds, be able to hear it, all that jazz. Now, let's get back into it. We're going to want to go into slot one here. Just click anywhere. I usually click this, but it doesn't matter. Just click anywhere. Go to the select button, and you're going to go and look for the limiter. Where's the limiter? Where's the limiter? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, the limiter is under dynamics, fruity limiter, click that. So we got fruity limiter pulled up. We're going to go to, go to our presets tab right here, select noise gate. Now this is completely optional. I use a noise gate because of all the background sound that usually picks up when I'm playing. Uh, I use a mechanical keyboard. I have a very loud mouse and I usually have air conditioned or other background sounds living in a dorm. So what we're going to want to do from here is adjust the noise gate to the perfect level. Uh, you can adjust the noise gate right here at this threshold. What a noise gate basically is, is a cancellation of sounds uh, that are too quiet. Uh, the, be the best way to describe it is it only lets certain frequencies through. It's kind of like a an automated EQ. Uh, so you see these white uh, sound frequencies here that is being let through these purple ones are not being let through and this yellow highlight You see here is what is allowing it to go through or not now you can just play with this Let remember how you uh, listen to your device through cable output here uh, Just listen to this until you don't hear any you only hear your voice basically and it, it, it cuts out a lot of the background noise So whenever you're not talking it won't you know play any of that and you can kind of have a smoother type of type of deal right there so make sure you keep Fruity Limiter there. Don't delete it like I did. I already have it set up on the other tab, which is why I'm just showcasing. Um, but next, under the second slot here, you're going to want to do EQ2. So when you get EQ2, which is going to be under the same thing, you're going to go under Filter, and it's going to be EQ2 right here. Um, so once you select EQ2, uh, you're going to go into Presets tab and hit Old Telephone. Now for the radio effect, I know many would think you should select the radio, but it's not that simple. you got to select Old Telephone because radio just, ugh, it's disgusting. It doesn't sound like a radio at all, if you ask me. Old Telephone is perfect. Uh, here's what that sounds like on my mic at least it might sound different on on yours But remember this is all about adjustment. You have plenty of freedom uh, You can just play with this like this, uh, but as it is now on old telephone. It is pretty good um, It really does not need that much movement, but you can always mess with it to your heart's content That's the best part about FL studio complete customization. So let's hear how that sounds just as that look at that Amazing, Amazing. so now we got that um at this point, you'd probably be done. You don't got to worry about anything else. But I need to make a note here. FL Studio is in trial mode if you downloaded it for free. And that essentially means when it's in trial mode, you are not able to save projects and you are not able to save this project. So if you wanted to just, let's say, make this, you made this whole thing. You got the limiter. You got the EQ. Uh, you want to save it and you want to use it for later. Well, you can't. Borderline is it's you're not going to have this thing to change fuck. Now, I named it fuck. I don't know why. But you're not going to have this option to change fuck. Um, or save changes, I should say. Uh, it's just going to close it, and it's going to tell you you do have the option if you want to pay for it. Now, you can pay for it. Uh, it is pretty expensive. I'd say it's worth it if you're into producing music. Um, as for uh, everything else, I mean, hey, look, it's your choice, man. Uh, but overall, hey. It's it's up to you. I you I bought it. I love Elf Studio. I use it all the time for producing music and audio editing. But it really is up to uh, up to you. So without that, with all that out of the way, uh, your final result should really look like this um, right here under my master tab. So we're gonna do the same thing we did. As you can see, I got the limiter. I got the EQ. Now this third one here might look a little strange. That's because it's an external plugin from Waves called CLA Vocals. Um, I use CLA Vocals to get a more dynamic and louder sound. Now in this instance, you could just re increase the volume like this, but this is a little more complex than that. It uses a variety of things, including a small uh, EQ system. It has bass, treble, uh, compress compression, reverb, delay, 
play and pitch. Uh, this is the output right here. I have it on a preset. It's a whole thing. Look, don't worry about it. I just have it because it's it works for me. It makes it sound better for me. Um, this is what that sounds like with everything all adjusted. So here we go. We're going to listen to that under recording. We're going to do the same thing. Properties, listen, listen to this device. Bam. Bam. Look, at, Look that. at that. That sounds, that sounds awesome. awesome. I love, I love that. that. So... I think we're done. I think I can stop yapping now. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I will answer them. I think we're good. Um, yeah, so that's the deal. Remember, you won't be able to save it. You have to do it all over again if you ever want to do this. But I'm sure if this video is helpful enough, you'll be able to memorize that if, you, if you're doing it consistently. I, I do it all the time, but uh, hey, it's up to you. All right, have a good day.